Failing to plan is planning to fail. And that's exactly what you're doing when you're not getting your proper personal protective equipment uh, on. Some people would say Mike was lucky to be wearing that protective equipment. But you know, it wasn't luck. It was just plain smart. And it was part of his job. Face shields, safety glasses, hearing protection, respirators, hard hats, leather gloves, steel-toed boots. It's called personal protective equipment, or PPE. We know the purpose of PPE is to protect us from the potential hazards in our workplaces. But these protective measures don't do a bit of good unless we know how to use them and when to use them. Employees and employers are both responsible to make a PPE program successful. It's your employer's responsibility to develop and maintain a PPE program. That includes identifying and assessing the physical and health hazards or potential hazards where you work, identifying the appropriate types of PPE to be used, and training employees how to use and maintain the PPE. Employers also have to review, evaluate, and update the PPE program on a regular basis. But hey, the buck doesn't stop there. Employees also have a responsibility in this effort to keep the workplace safe. First, learn as much as you can about the protective equipment at those training sessions. Second, when you put on the PPE, make sure it fits. If it doesn't fit, it probably won't work. Third, keep your equipment in good, clean working order. If it's damaged or worn, get it replaced. Okay, so let's talk about the basics of personal protective equipment. And let's start at the top, the head. Your best protection against falling objects or objects